we are flying to India. This time we are flying with Singapore Airlines in Premier Economy. Our flight will be Singapore A380 from Melbourne to Singapore. It will be a jumbo flight. It will be a really good experience. So we'll be able to share a video of kind of like a review of the experience and the kind of food they serve in Premier Economy and what the experience will be finally. Uh, hello again, we have done our check-ins at uh, Singapore Airlines and uh, we're basically waiting to be on board. Our flight from Hobart this morning got cancelled. There was a technical issues and there was a chance that we might not actually make this flight. But finally we had to make arguments and we made to the next flight somehow and now we are on board. Uh, it was supposed to be a very relaxing time this morning. We had six hours waiting in Melbourne and then ended up in just half an hour waiting time because of those all additional stress of plane being cancelled. At the end we are we're ready to fly on board Singapore Airlines. Finally, we are going on board. Say hi. So finally we are on board and we are settled in our seat. Well, the seats are very nice. Uh, obviously it's a 2-4-2 two, two combination and uh, hopefully it will be quite pleasant and later on when I will make this go a bit flat and, and I will also share some experience when they will serve food. We have a white in stock for water. Nice. I think um, the A380 of Singapore Airlines are a bit dated, a bit old. I think we have flown on a better A380 on Qantas. But what I'm saying that uh, this premier economy seat space, the leg space, pretty good actually. Because there are two feet stand in front where you can keep your feet. And then there is that calf rest that I just recorded. And so overall it will be not a flat bed. It will be comfortable I guess. Let's try the Melbourne to Singapore map. That map will be quite interesting. I'm always fascinated with this map on this big screen. Before you fly, this 3D map gives you the extraordinary feeling it's really exciting that you are flying again and basically it takes five and a half hours to just cross australia and then bali it's another half an hour to bali and then singapore so crossing australia is probably two-third of the journey Started taxing. It's pouring outside. Make sure that your seat belt is securely fastened during taxi, takeoff, and turn on. I'm actually a bit disappointed because be we don't have any camera view on this A380. My understanding was that in, on Emirates and Qantas, we always have front view camera, rear view camera, and I was planning to record that, but unfortunately, there is no camera on this Singapore Airlines A380. So we just need to go with Place the satellite Google map type Pull of the views. lateral strips. On behalf of Singapore Airlines, we hope you have a great time on board as well as in Singapore or anywhere else in the world we take you.
have one noise cancelling headphone so I'll, I should try this and hopefully it should be very good to watch some movies that's pretty good it's not cordless but it should work it should do a very good job in this noisy environment I guess that's the tray tray was inside the handle they're giving some drinks so I opened the tray probably I'll go for Singapore sling it's a very traditional very authentic Singapore drink I'll have a Singapore sling. Sure. Can you tell me what's the recipe of the Singapore sling? Sorry? What's the recipe of the Singapore sling? Can you tell me? All right, okay. Because it looks very nice. <laughs> okay, that's beautiful. Oh, thank you very much. So that's the Singapore sling. It looks stunning. It's it's a cocktail basically. It's a very traditional drink on Singapore Airlines. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy your drink. Thanks. Let's try this. Enjoy your drink. Enjoy your drink. It's very nice. A bit alcoholic because I, I don't really drink alcohol these days. But it's it's stunning. It looks very nice. And they have given some peas and crackers. At the moment we are flying past Adelaide and Port Lincoln in South Australia. Yes. On this flight there was an option to book a, a book a share. Basically you have in-flight menus where you can actually choose from. But you can also pre-book a cooked lunch or dinner. So that's called uh, book a chef. So I did that. There's only very few options and I, I booked the nasi lemak, which is a very traditional um, Malaysian dish and so hopefully that will be served hot let's see and uh, Orunima didn't like any of the bouquet chef menu so she has gone for the standard uh, non-vegetarian which is going to be some recipe in chicken let me show you the propellers and the engines of this A380 although this is a very old A380 but the propellers and the engines are really big and it's just fascinating size Our film selection on this aircraft is pretty good, a very recent release of there, but probably I won't be able to see more than one film, so I'll just try Indiana Jones. I'm going to try the headphone, and I was looking for where the jack ports are, and it's just here. And there are a couple of USB ports as well, so it's pretty convenient. And they have just served my Lassi Nemo. And what's for you? Some parathas and should be some chicken curry, I guess. Let's open it. Chicken and rice. Okay, this looks delicious. And you have some salad and some sweet. sweet. And a bread roll, of course. And this is what I got. Yeah, it has got some, I think, dried fish and a half boiled egg, and obviously, nasi lemak with rice. And yeah, let me try and I'll report back. Let me take some prawn, rice, and dried fish and Hopefully it should be 
quite good. It's very tasty. The same as when we had nasi lemak in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia or somewhere in Sydney. It's a very good standard, very nice. So this is basically a party salad and it's really good. It's it's very well seasoned and I, I really enjoyed the salad. And then the nasi lemak is exceptional. It's the egg and the dried fish and the big prawns. It's very spicy. Uh, obviously not very hot but spicy. Very, very tasty and I'm still enjoying it. I'm the hungry person here. Orunima doesn't eat much and uh, I'm going to try Orunima's one and she has this non-veg standard chicken with parathas. Let me show you. So this is actually looks much more very Indian, very authentic. I think that the parathas are Malaysian as well. It could be roti and uh, the curry is the chicken curry. It almost looks like biryani. So I must try this. Orunima has passed me this dish as well. So I'm going to try both. That was delicious and uh, basically I finished most of it except Orunima had just a little bit. Actually I didn't have any dessert and so Orunima had dessert, I don't know what that is. It looks like a, it's a cake with yeah, caramel topping I think, yeah, caramel jelly topping and yeah, some nuts, nuts there as well. So um, I, I'll have to eat that a little bit later but I almost finished John. mine and I definitely yeah. finished Orunima's one. And and I should say that uh, the food was delicious. So, so far, uh, I should give food 10 out of 10. Basically, it was really tasty. I mean, I had Malaysian dish uh, many times in Sydney and Melbourne. One of our favorite is uh, Mamak in Sydney. And so, here it was just delicious. So, I should give 10 out of 10. Uh, so far, seat, yeah, I should give 8 probably because we had better seat uh, in Emirates and Qantas. Overall, it's been a very pleasant journey so far and it's very comfortable in premier economy and, and the food has made the journey exceptional. So I'll continue reviewing things as we go. Probably there's not much, to, much left to review, but let's see how things goes. And after all of that, now they have given me some ice cream to finish off. So basically that's, that's an ice cream, a gelato. So I'm gonna finish that because it's ice cream, I can't keep it for future. And so it was overall very nice experience eating. So basically they gave a rock salted caramel from Broad Beach, Australia. And uh, it looks really delicious, the caramel swirls are really nice and obviously I took a spoonful. It should be delicious. So it's overall, it's a nice finish. We have another 3,400 kilometer to go. So kind of like a halfway through to Singapore. We're almost closing on Bali. We're crossing over Bali and in Indonesia. So it's pretty much 70%, I would say, 70 to 75% of the way we have came through. And look at the sky outside. It's just stunning. So pretty. Another 1,742 kilometers to go. As we are approaching Jakarta and then Singapore, it's almost there. And they have served us some chicken pies. It's not dinner, but it's some snacks and it looks delicious. And also, it's made in Australia. The 
this morning when we started from Hobart, uh, we took a flight from Hobart to Melbourne with Jetstar and that flight was cancelled as I mentioned previously and it was a nightmare. In, in midday it was a nightmare. Uh, eventually we managed to get the next Jetstar flight to Melbourne. But in Hobart in the morning it was like 5 degrees and now we just told uh, that in Singapore uh, we'll be arriving around 10 o'clock at night and the temperature is 29 degrees centigrade. So in an 18 hour time we'll have nearly 25 degree temperature gain. So it will be really shocking temperature difference by the time we'll be reaching in Singapore. We had a very pleasant flight today on Singapore Airlines in Premier Economy. We have started descending in Singapore and uh, yeah, it has been a very nice journey. It's just eight hours, so it's not very long, but uh, it was very comfortable. After a while, we have been flying. So finally we arrived in Singapore. Uh, we have 22 hours stopover in Singapore. So we're going to stay one night in Singapore. And so tomorrow morning uh, until late afternoon, we'll have something to see in Singapore. So we'll try to make a video of Singapore and uh, we'll visit some important places like Marina Bay and uh, the garden by the bay, if possible, if it's not too hot. And so let's see what happens. So it will be a separate video on Singapore.